like, I gotta be like this kind of this shit, you know? I, I, I was popping that Chris Dow and a lot of y'all niggas thought it was B and shit. Hey, discovered. Yeah, you discovered. I just discovered he was wearing Kanye bumwear. So hey, that's a topic for next month, the next episode. Well, I, what I'm smoking is a uh, Politico by uh, Monte Cristo. Really good smoke. Been on this lately, and uh, I like it, man. It's got a sweet leather type of tone to it, mm -hmm. um, and it's really good. It's out of the DR uh, Nicaraguan blend, and actually the wrapper is um, Ecuadorian uh, Sumatra. Okay. So, now I know you're a coffee guy. Mm -hmm. So what coffee are you drinking? Coffee with that? Are you doing with that? Yeah. yeah. Today um, I've got an Ethiopian blend. Okay. Yeah, Ethiopian. So it's a kind of bitter, sweet. It mix. It mixes well with the mm -hmm. cigar. So uh, shout out to Casa de Monte Cristo for that one. They got them here, people. So uh, yeah. Shout out. Plenty of them. So we got uh, other current events going on right now. We got the playoffs, but we're going to hold that for last. Let's talk about this Kanye West, man. All right, you know, I'm going to I'm going to kick the ball off on that one. I watched it. You I watched was, the full one. No. No, I, I, man, I, you can't comment then, yeah, man. You got it. Hey, it's just it's Kanye West. It's just like music. I can listen to the first 10 seconds of a song nah, and turn it off. Nah, I can't get down nah. with you. Baby. Okay, let me explain. Then let me explain. I I watched the first okay. 5 minutes, not a edited cut. Okay. But the first 5 minutes of the questions from Charlemagne to Kanye and I just was like I can't do this, man. <laughs> I felt like I'm doing a zany. I I couldn't do it. it the the thing that I have with against it is I look at the dude as just a musician. I only care about his music. Yeah, I do hope he's mentally okay. You know, I, I do hope for that. Mm -hmm. But I think a lot of people is riding him too tough. Mm. Like just listen to his music. But I think in the black community why a lot are riding him is because it's showing an absence and not just in the black community, but in this whole American scheme, it's it's missing a civil rights leader. Someone to point out the inadequacies of what's going on in society. You, you can't put that kind of responsibility on Kanye West. Okay, if the dude like Trump, it's America. You know, you, you like who you like. Yeah, you like what you like. You like Kanye West. Some like Future. Some like Jigga. You know, or whatever. I, I just, I stopped watching it because I feel like he's falling victim to unnecessary pressure. You know, mm -hmm. just be you, man. If you want to rock with him... You can rock with him. To me, it just shows that people are missing a true leader and they just dumping their responsibility on him. That dude's responsibility is making beats, making hot rhymes. You know, my favorite rhyme is, do that make me an asshole? And you can, <laughs> you can finish the rest. Mm -hmm. You know, that's just how I view the man. And I'm not saying that in the belittling way. I just look at the man as an entertainer. But I don't like to hand that off to my fellas. How do you feel about that? Do you think should we just treat him as a musician, mm -hmm. or do you also feel they trying to get this man like Martin Luther King type responsibilities, or are we missing that? You know, you know one thing about Kanye and one thing about entertainers throughout history, especially African American entertainers, if they've been politically socially conscious on any any level, mm -hmm. they speak out. And mm -hmm. and my thing is this: he has a viewpoint. Just like they have few points. And you got to be able to respect everybody's viewpoint and where they're coming from. Him, on the other hand, some of the stuff I just don't agree with, some I do. You got to take you got to take the wheat with the uh, the, chaff, the shaft. You know, you got to take what you want and leave the rest. And, you know, you can't come down on somebody because their viewpoint differs from you. You can learn to understand it. And but, I think, and I think yeah. you, as a, just because he's an entertainer doesn't mean... He Discount. can't have right. an opinion outside of entertainment. Right. You know, he shouldn't be boxed inside of just making music, in my opinion. He's a black man. He's an American. We there it is. He's least, an American. I don't think we're, you know, the, we have freedom. You know, I'll put that in, in quotes. But <laughs> at least I'm, we're able to express right. our viewpoints. And I, I like it, man, because I know, I actually know a few black people, black brothers to be more specific, that are closet Trump supporters, mm -hmm. you know, and and if more people spoke up about what they did like about Trump, then you will see that, but we're too scared to be ourselves and voice our opinions. You're ostracized. And 
about what you know what we like or what we dislike. So right. I don't know. I, I'm I'm for him, man. I'm for him expressing how he feels, and I think we need more of that in uh in in media, and entertainment, and all that. Because oh, I'll tell you this, it's this this the same dude that said uh, Bush didn't like black people. So just remember that and he's not being. Uh, a jigaboo, a dancer. He's not tap dancing. I just feel like, truly, he feels like Trump is uh, a cool person, and that's his boy. He does have a relationship with him, and I respect that. Right. But I don't know, man. I mean, me personally, you know, I feel, for one, uh, to each his own, but also maybe because people are taking it the other way because, you know, he do have a voice. Maybe mm-hmm. he don't realize how powerful his voice is. Maybe he do. But at the same time, we got to go back to the First Amendment. You entitled to it. say how you feel. You know what I'm saying. So either you with it or you not. You support it. You know. Like I said, he's entitled to. I say respect how he Kanye feel. more than I do a um, a P Diddy. Um, because I know P Diddy. Elaborate. Well, P Diddy like Trump, but he keep it on the low. Hey, you know people, a lot, you know, people, uh, a lot Jeezy, of entertainers like the Jeezy Trump, did a shout out to Trump. He called him the white Tupac. But oh people, man, uh, people you know, on that topic. That. Hip hop, black culture, we have um, put Trump on the on the pedestal. We always will put him in the rhymes, and that's this is exactly what Kanye was saying. We put him in rhymes. We talk about we glorify him. Right. We say we're in the Trump hey, Tower. This, Ray Schirmer up like Donald Trump. <laughs> <laughs> right. So I'm saying we did all that prior to his presidency. Exactly. And then when he gets in office, all of a sudden. Not even by us, it's more so the media, in my opinion, has programmed us to dislike Trump and, and we follow suit, you know, and that's just my, you know, that's my opinion. I like to see black people uh, jump away from the masses. Right. And, and I like to see... And have their own opinion. I like to see people have their own opinion, like you said. Yeah. You know, black or white. Black or know. white. Have your own opinion. Form your own opinion. Be informed. But my thing is, be informed about your opinion. Yeah. Don't yeah. don't just listen to one side. Listen to both sides and come gotcha. up with a, a, a true opinion about... And an informed opinion about what's going on. You know, like Kanye. I think he's more closer to the heartbeat than I am. He knows a, little, a lot more... About what okay. uh, about Trump yes, or, or and some of the yes, politics of what's going on in Hollywood, music industry, and yeah. politics in general, and fashion, and exactly. fashion but, than I would. But ask <laughs> yourself, think about how many people base their opinion off what they see off social media a lot, and not a lot. And, and, and not doing actual research social on the topic and, and things the like that. Media outlets, exactly. Six companies and right. six corporations. So when something come out and, it, and if the media is against what he say, they can spin it however they spin and it someone will see it and be to. like, hmm, well I know Kanye stand for this and this. Let me research what Kanye talking about and where he coming from before I throw my opinion, but yet people see something on social media and be like, Yup, that's right. Yup, uh, yep. Kanye, Kanye out here cooling again. You know right. what I'm saying? I mean, people, like I said in the beginning, to each his own. I don't, I don't put too much stock in that. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm more worried about my everyday life. But True. at the same time, <laughs> at the same time, you ain't that lying. man is entitled to his opinion. When can I, you know, not get entitled to my opinion? Like I said, man, you can like him more or you can like him less. But that man, <laughs> ah, that man shut out his opinion. You know what I'm saying? Hey, but also you just said you're talking about people that. He, Strictly get their view based upon what social media say. We also know about the same people that's quick to call a brother like Kanye, Uncle Tom. And if you call him Uncle Tom, clearly that means you didn't read the book because <laughs> <laughs> right. it's Uncle not Tom Uncle was Tom. a hero. <laughs> <laughs> but you got to read the book. I say say that to say this: you got to do your own research from your own opinion. I don't see nothing wrong with the dude. You know, right. you putting you putting unnecessary responsibilities on that Impression. man. You know, just let the man make his music. He got that. He got to pay for that wife. He got to pay for that kid. You know, let's just hope he don't turn around and turn his name into Keisha West. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, 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 and that's Childish Gambino. I seen the video before all the things on YouTube came out about the imagery. I'm not gonna lie to you. You know, I, I consider myself a history buff. 
when he shot my man in that weird pose, I was like, wait a minute, dude. That looked so familiar. It's just mm. he had a gun in his hand. He come to find out that was a character from Jim Crow. That was just like, what is this dude reading? What 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 tip is this dude on to throw little things in there? Then you go into the pants that he's wearing. I was oblivious to those pants at first till I saw YouTube that did a Confederate uniform and those were the same pants. I mean, what made this dude pick those pants? Why not the Union pants? You know, then you go and then you see the the horrific acts of violence that's going on in the background, background. of the video. Like I'm looking at like dudes being thrown over balconies. Um, oh, and let's not forget, you know, the choir shooting. You know, that has a lot of mixed emotions. As soon as I seen it, looking at the tone of the video, I knew he was talking about the incident that happened down in North Carolina. South Carolina. South Carolina. Oh, I'm, oh, I'm sorry about that. South Carolina. And actually, a little side note, that is actually one of the, that is a very historical city. If you don't know, you should look up the history of Charleston. But back to the, back to the main topic. You know, that affected me on a lot of fronts. Mm. The, the gun violence to that church, how easy it was for that perpetrator to get his hands on that kind of rifle. And then two, what is the significance of the black church? I mean, dude, you went in there and committed that kind of act of violence. Th those were the type of chords that were struck in me when I saw that that quick scene, The how easy it is to obtain that gun. Uh, it was a black church that was acting on it. Then when he handed the gun off, the dude had a, a, a silk scarf, so to speak, and wrap that gun and treat that gun like, like a baby coming into the world. Precious. And you know, then you see the kids coming in dancing. And that struck me as okay, we putting the violence out. Uh, you got people being thrown over, you got people getting shot, then you got the brother getting shot in a weird pose, and then as soon as all these active violence has come, you got the kids jumping in dancing and it's like, so okay, now we're gonna entertain you to distract you from yeah, that. Yeah, that's all you know, it, so it, what do you think his motive was? For, for producing that video, like, well, I'm, I'm gonna give you a I'm gonna give you a double meaning. What we doing now? We're talking about he's evoking thought, but then the man I just watched him in a Star Wars uh, interview when they switched over to the video. He will not tell any meaning. He won't give it to you. He was saying no. I'm not. I'm not gonna answer it. <laughs> so it's like, mm, I mean, it, it's like you can speculate. Yeah, you can yeah, research, was, but I, the I, main I, thing you're doing is you're talking about it. He has, but maybe he has to maybe he's not telling you so that you will you research. research. That's I what that, I think. See, it's like it's like it's like it's like it's like it's you want to think. Yeah, it's like 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 you know, I think he made that video to make you sit back and think. But once again, social media, I mean, within a couple of minutes, the video had a couple of many hits. And, you know, and I think people looked at him like, oh, he in that pose and he dancing this and this. They looked at the wrong content of the video. Right. The content of the video was the message he put out. And I think the reason why he won't answer that is because, like we said before, he wants you to think. He wants you to look at that. He wants you to break that down. And how you did it and what you get out of that but basically what he's saying is this is the America we live in like for right. instance is that a factory you know showing uh, how America is industrial and capitalistic because you got the cars in the background he's wearing chains the double chain well, meaning the double I mean they even said that's a double chain meaning like one chain <laughs> represents him being on lockdown and the other chain represents a fashion statement right or is that materialism yeah or is that a prison cell he's in I mean like it's so but you know so many meanings in this video and just in case you don't really know what we're talking about you should probably check out the Childish Gambino video yeah we'll leave a link to it in the description of this video so uh definitely check that out and one thing I want to add on that you know like what about the cell phone how the cell phone, uh, and me, me and Wave was talking about this, how the cell phone lost energy and cell phone could be a metaphor for being in, uh, we're always on our cell, we're a prisoner of the cell phone itself and when it lost energy, you're free from it, free from the social media, free from that and you can experience life and like you were saying, the dancing and the entertainment is the distraction for what's really going on in reality behind you, right, right in front of your face. You see in dancing entertainment, but you look oh, right over over it like a wall, 
you'll see what's really going on in reality. Hey, you even see the the horseman <laughs> running around, Run, the drive, right running, going through the uh, oh, going through the video. You like, like, oh okay. They didn't even stand on the video. I mean, is this girl doing appropriation? Because now you have this this former cheerleader with her own version of "This Is America," and mm. she's but she's talking about women's rights or whatnot. I mean, not to be little women's rights at all, but it just like you just took the whole flavor of the, the beat, uh, even his flow delivery, and it's just, it's like it made me not even pay attention to our message. You know what I'm saying? So tough. And you got to check that out. I, I think her her name is Nicole. So you put in Nicole or the Nicole. This is America. Check that out. You know. Yeah. So yeah, y'all like leave y'all comments on the video. What do you think the video purpose was? Um, is, was it to really get us to think? Or was it some other stuff? I don't know, man. He, and, he does and, some. He Glover does some really abstract art, like right. even in Atlanta, how he produced oh, yeah. that so, series. So. It's it's very okay. yeah. outside the box and really he now, throws subliminal things in there. For now you. let's put this out there since we on it because I know some of our fans since we trying to reach out to women. I know it's going to be a certain demographic of women that's going to comment. And say, how are we hyping this dude up for his his civil rights awareness or society awareness in this video? But yet, we all know who he's married to. Yeah, does that make you Put that in the comments. Put that in the comments. But I, I, I mean, I, I looked at that and I read that, and you know, like I said, that me personally, how I look at things like that. I mean, that's his personal life. But of course, how people want to look into that, I'm like, well. How can you think that way? Then you date who you date. That it doesn't reflect on what that man, how he grew up, what he might see, or how he view America. I mean, you know, not jumping I off the screen. Think it does, but I mean, you love who you love. You know what I'm saying? I mean, hell, when we get green people down here, whatever, you might the best person for you might be green, but you still might view things a certain way. So I think that shouldn't be put in the equation. You know what I'm saying? Some, so it's like some, some people do. Some so it's like okay, so you outside your, if you, you outside your race, you can't see the world for what it about, is. How would it's you crazy, feel about man. the honorable Malcolm X if he was married to Betty? <laughs> 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 you, you know, would you know, still be out there by any means necessary? You know. <laughs> Or you be trying to brush your teeth and make a little bit more white. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's what's up. That's what's up. Yeah, that's that's what's up. Let, let us know in the comments. Comments below. Let us know what you think of the video. Let us know how you feel about it. Let us know if you agree or disagree. Let us know if we on point or we on bullshit. Let us know. I mean, this this is what it's for, man. You know, you know we, we want to hear from you. Oh, that's before. right, that's right. So, mm -hmm. lastly, we're going to be talking about, man. King James. King James. Will he uh, make this 01 into a 02? Oh, he already did. Uh, Will he be an 03? Uh, 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 you know? I don't know what y'all want from hey, this man. 03. Hey, he graduated in 2003, yes, maybe. Sure. Maybe he's trying to, like, send him a subliminal. <laughs> I, I don't know what y'all really want from this man. The man go while he performing every night. He got to get some help. He got the LeBronettes out there. Man. <laughs> you know, real talk. These LeBron guys, these guys got to step up the game. When you account for 80% of their offense is King James. Yeah. 40, 42, 11, and 10. I can't, I can't blame LeBron. I can't blame LeBron on that. Uh, but what do y'all think? He ain't got no damn support. He I mean, needs some help. <laughs> he needs some help. He needs some help. He don't he have, have no support, you know. But the biggest thing is, if they get knocked out, what he gonna do? He control his own destiny. Going to LA. Me personally, I don't think. Right. Why would you leave <laughs> at this st state of his career? None he's, of proof. He's chasing rings, man. He got all the money. He got all the accolades. I think his next move is going to be somewhere to line him up to get a ring. Now, if you want to be bandwagon I see, team and all that, whatever. I, like I see him at Philly or Houston. Uh, he, if he was in Houston. Hart needs some help. Too. If he was in Houston, it'd be, it'd be the real Eastern Cup, or Western Cup Finals will be the finals. Hey, it'll be 1-1. One, one. <laughs> right at this current state. <laughs> real talk, man. But he needs some help. Caps. Hey, help this man out. We, uh, what what the coach do? He sent them home on the spirit last night. Man, he sent them home on the spirit. For he real? Gave, Lebr <laughs> 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 gave LeBron the jumbo jet. You know, that was one of them instances what? after the game 
when you, you know you come in there, you about to get chewed out by the coach, and the coach said, "LeBron, you can just go home." You motherfuckers need to stay. <laughs> <laughs> and run some laps. And, uh, <laughs> you bitches owe me some laps. You gonna be playing basketball in Pelican <laughs> Bay. <laughs> that, was, of a lot. that was terrible, dude. I'm yeah, watching. Horrible. I'm watching the fourth quarter, and it's like whenever LeBron want to do a layup, it's like he just going straight to the basket. What about this flagrant foul? By your boy last Jr. Year. Jr. Oh, I yeah. think that was a, a flagrant too. Personally, he pushed him while he's in the air. Yeah, that was bad. Man, that was just that was a, bad. That was that, that was the case of ejected. cocoa butter and frustration. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what that was, man. That was, was that was the case. Of, he was frustrated. You could tell he was frustrated. Yeah, he ain't. I don't think he. But he needed. He needed to be frustrated. <laughs> he needed to be frustrated with his game. His game was frustrating for LeBron. That's what it hey, is. Maybe that man need to smoke a four twenty cigar. Get back <laughs> in the game, man. Man. Get back in the game, yeah. baby. Get back he, in the game. He looking like straight out of garbage. <laughs> love gets no love, man. They need to get him, swap him out. You know he was performing last night. He, he, he a little soft, 15. man. He a little soft, man. Look here, man. Lay off. Put Kevin Love on another team, dude. I bet you he was and no one option. Averaging 25, he'll 27 points right a game. Nah, he still be fishing right now. Done. No, he's not. He'll be fishing right now. Got, no, wait, he he got to take, take a back seat to the king, man. Why you think Kyrie got the hell up out of there? Well, Kyrie on, got Why, he why you think Kyrie got up out of there? No, Kyrie's a superstar. Kevin Love was a super uh, hey, it's fake star. At the top. It's not only at the top. It's, it's, like, <laughs> you know, it's fake star, man. Kyrie is a... The, uh, either the one best uh, point guard or one A, one B. I mean, so Kyrie is so a different animal. We, uh, <laughs> so it, it's probably no need to talk about the Western Conference Finals. Oh no, it's uh, need to talk about uh, that. Uh, Man, Houston, think, what's wrong with Houston? Nah. We got a problem. <laughs> <laughs> we got a problem, Houston. Houston, we got a problem. Harden can't do it all. He, he, he looks like LeBron. Do it, but it's it 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 more hair. <laughs> so, Down here, they need to switch. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, so you think, I'm looking uh, at that brother. What he put up? Thirty six. No, he put up forty five. Forty five. Forty 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 five. Came back wearing the four five. Yeah, yeah. play games. He was playing games, but they still at you. They still lost by double digits. Man. Yeah. Hey, so is that, is that series pretty much? You think that's a wrap? It's after wrap. after game two, nobody, if they go o two, it's over. You tonight, you tonight, you tonight you is you the series. gonna get this one tonight. I don't know. Uh, ain't nobody in there. Only you ain't nobody real can. confident. Ain't nobody after that, man. It's a wrap, man. You know, I mean, I personally, I felt that. Whoever won between Houston and uh, Golden State is going to win the NBA championship. Period. But my personal pick, you know, I got, I got to roll with. I got to roll with Golden State, man. They got too much fire out of East. I don't give a fuck. And, and, <laughs> <laughs> and, it don't matter who comes out of East. It don't matter. You go get it's ready. second place, baby. It ain't no trophies for that. And speaking of that, for the game one of Golden State and Boston, hopefully uh, we get Rupert to let us. Watch the game here at the at the lovely Casa de Monte Crisco. Message, you know we we, we had a ball here watching. The, what was that? The, the uh, uh, NCAA Sweet sixteen. Yeah, yeah the Spartans was playing. Yeah, Sweet sixteen. Yeah, what was who was playing? The little Michigan State dudes that you mean? You mean? No, they wasn't playing. You mean? You mean, you mean, you mean the coach that, that don't made don't you put Spartans, nine man. points? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want you to score nine points a game. I know you run defense. <laughs> I know you was a thirty-five. And then when you go to the NBA, people are gonna say your game looks exactly the way it did in senior high school. <laughs> <laughs> man, get him out of here, man. Oh, you man. Know, it's, him, um, him that doctor, man. Yeah, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> another topic. Another topic. Another topic <laughs> for the future show. All right, man. So that's good, man. That's good. Good sports talk. We always like to incorporate different stuff. So uh, that's pretty much it, fellas. I think for episode three, uh, my man, uh, what's your name again? Figueroa Walk. <laughs> <laughs> Let them know about the social media. Look, we getting our we getting our social media stuff popping, man. Hashtag us, Figueroa fellas. Uh, Instagram, we about to get load that up. The reasonable smoke. Also, also, also. Uh, be on the lookout, man. We gonna we gonna have the shirts popping off. Yep. yep. We gonna have merch the uh, coming. merch coming. Reason, reasonable smoke. It's yep. dope. Yeah. Trust mm-hmm. me, it's dope. 
You need uh, to get that. You need to get that. Yeah. You're going to see some Figueroa fellas shirts. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. So be on the lookout for that, man. Like and I some said, Figueroa man. ladies shirts. Yeah, like I yeah, said, yeah, yeah. We, got, we got a lot of stuff <laughs> coming down the pipe. I baby. puff. And please, CAO, I'm a big fan of the basin. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the basin. Since the basin. Three beasts. <laughs> <laughs> Just a box. We, we again have to thank, give much credit, much thanks to Casa de Monte Cristo. Rupert, and not, please don't forget, he was here, and then he went back to one of them Carolinas. Oh, my what, goodness. Brandon. 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 Man, that don't be mad fear. at me, Brandon. Brennan, Brandon. <laughs> I, I, I did. I believe the name is Brandon, and then one day I believe I heard Brennan. So when I used to see you, I used to go, "Hey, Brennan." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the Wolfpack man, you look just like the Wolfpack dude, man. So <laughs> we miss you. I hope it's all good, and yeah, thank man. you for setting this up yeah. and leaving us yeah. in good hands with Rupert. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. this yeah. is you guys did a terrific job on the remodeling. You guys are really rebranding wow. your look in here. It's very inviting. The customer service is superb. Come check it out. Uh, you know, you got the, the ladies that help us in here. We have Jazz that, that knows her stuff. Uh, we have Lindsay. Mm -hmm. We have Guido. Guido. We, we even got the, the cop Bucky. The, the, <laughs> you know, I don't know if you want to shoot me. <laughs> Bucky want to shoot you with but a buckshot. You know, he, he reminds me of like my, you know, my grandfather is real mean, you know, and yeah. then just out of the clear blue, like, hey, how you doing? It's like, dude, I don't know how to proceed. This, but <laughs> you're cool, man. <laughs> and you know what? This is Michigan's only walk-in humidor That's where you true. can have a smoke have a good conversation with some good people and you know the selection is excellent just yeah. you need to come through check them out they on northwestern highway 28 815 northwestern highway and ladies please be advised this is walking humidor your hair might get a little puffy no nah, <laughs> please that's true. please enter at your own risk <laughs> <laughs> all right that's the end of episode number three i'm cb i'm dolly figure out a walk baby Slime wave. <laughs> <laughs> and we are the figure out the fellas. Regional Spoke Podcast. Bam. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye. <laughs> <laughs>